Inside, a perfectly intact mummy, wrapped in fabric with a bit of skull showing. Listen. What started as a relaxation site became a huge link to a whole new discovery of the evolution of ancient times. On a day like any other, a life jacket was washed ashore in a Russian lake. It sparked the curiosity of many, especially because the life jacket had no form of identification. Investigations and research were ordered to know where the jacket was from, and the results were shocking. What did the investigations find, and how does it affect the modern day? Stay with me till the end of the video to find out. Many items have been washed offshore several times, but have yet to spark as much curiosity from the locals or even the authorities' investigations. What made the life jacket stand out was that it seemed not to belong to anyone on the lake by its physical appearance. After several investigations to find out where the source of the jacket was, the discovery led to a series of other discoveries. Who did this life jacket belong to? And at what period could it make its way over to the Russian lake? You will find the answer to this very shocking because it leaves the lasting feeling of knowing what next is to be discovered. After much research conducted, the results stated that the jacket found is said to have belonged to sailor Sam Belowski from the destroyer USS Cowell, which was destroyed in an attack by suicide bombers in Yemen during an attack in October 2000. This was determined by the inscription on the jacket that was used to trace back its origin. My first reaction to the research results was pure disbelief and wonder from the public. How could decades of a lost part of a ship be found on the shores of Lake Endless in Russia? The distance between the Indian Ocean and central Russia is about 4,000 kilometers. Unbelievably still, it must have been transported in a straight line for the jacket to get to that particular location. The course of such an activity is not humanly possible. After much deliberation, the archaeological method of finding the origin of an item was employed. However, with excavation and digging now part of the research process, there was more to find that would leave the monitoring public with their mouths agape. In their research, it was discovered that there were several undiscovered, ungrounded tunnels spread across the state and the world at large. With several lengths and widths, these tunnels covered so much land that they could connect a state with another state through underground passages and, unbelievably, connect a continent with another. Who created the underground ground tunnels, and what was their use? Over the years, many known caves and subway tunnels and holes in unexpected places have been discovered, and it would be no surprise in several years that more will. Although, a similar feature of most of these found places is the discovered existence of the pre-modern human era. Objects, items of clothing, paintings, and inscriptions of rocks or a slab of stone have been found and point to the earlier lives lived by our ancestors. However, these gigantic tunnels are different from what has been discovered earlier. The major factor is the space it occupies. The tunnel's lengths, depths, and widths are enormous. Even the architectural design and methods suggest using something much more than basic simple tools that could be associated with the earlier era. Some of the materials used are not detected yet, but it was reported recently that they contain signs of nature's work in supporting the construction of the tunnels. Traces of nicks, stalactites, stalagmites, and cracks were found on this tunnel surfaces. The distinguishing differences between ancient undergrounds and modern tunnels are the required space, excavation, ground support, and the marveling accuracy of ancient underground construction. Another discovery made is that all major ancient civilization constructions were different in building, design, and construction methods. Prehistoric humans were mostly interested in increasing their underground space, explaining why these tunnels took up a large landmass space more tunnels and underground sites have been discovered and recorded, especially in this century and time. It makes one wonder if it results from archaeological inquisitiveness or if something terrifying is about to happen. Discovering these tunnels has been challenging for researchers, scientists, and most importantly, archaeologists. The experts have been grasping tiny pieces of evidence that could easily be overlooked and passed off as nothing. The life jacket is a major example. 
The research was not just consulted and closed permanently. Extra efforts were made and have led to discovering more about our planet than earlier living centuries have been able to learn. Ancient undergrounds found in the 21st century. In recent times, archaeologists found the Taposiris Magna Temple, which is dedicated to Osiris, the god of death, in Egypt. Several speculations have risen, and there have been ill responses to this discovery, especially on religious grounds. It was discovered by archaeologist Kathleen Martinez, who, to her name, also discovered two Ptolemaic-era alabaster statues and several ancient ceramic vessels and pots. Her discovery was a geometric miracle, perhaps because of the tunnel structure. When found, part of the tunnel was underwater, and the cause was suspected to be due to several earthquakes that have happened over the centuries, weakening some parts of the tunnel and causing it to collapse into the water. From archaeological research, several objects belonging to ancient civilization were retrieved from the site, among which are artifacts such as coins with names and images of Cleopatra VII and, not surprisingly, Alessandra the Great. Other items seem to be for the worship of the god. Figurines and statues of the gold-tongued goddess Isis were found. The final most disturbing artifact found is a cemetery that contains the remains of Greco-Roman preserved mummies with their faces turned towards the temple. Taposiris Magna was started to be found by Pharaoh Ptolemy II in 280-270 BC during the Hellenistic period in Egypt. It is claimed that it is the final resting place of the magnificent Cleopatra. The gate to the Temple of Osiris was found through archaeologists' excavation. However, there is a counterclaim to how it was found. It is claimed that it was just found near the River Nile. It was said to have been found near the west bank of the Nile, near Luxor. Much still needs to be said about the mysteries of the found temple. However, the statue found bears close semblance to other late-period tombs, such as the Tomb of Hawa. Another discovery made was the Marble Cave in Crimea. The Marble Cave is located at the lower plateau of Chatter Dag, a mountainous massif in Europe. It has been a great tourist site for many years now, and is one of the top's annually busted sites and regarded as one of the most beautiful caves in the world because of its marble limestone structure. Its most unique features are its underground waterfalls and water-filled hollows. It was discovered in 1987 by archaeologists and speleologists, and because of its unique features, such as its galleries and structural design, and its rare types of crystals, it was named the Marble Cave. It was only opened two years after, in 1989, when it was considered safe for exploring. This cave is so well hidden that it is only about 920 meters above sea level, where its entrance can be found. After much deliberation, researchers concluded that to get an adequate display of the topography and the artifacts to be discovered, other technological advances, such as lighting, concrete paths, and handrails, were added to the cave. For tourists, the tour length of the cave is about 1.5 kilometers and 60 meters deep. Overall, the length of all the areas is about 2 kilometers. The man-made tunnel also has a gallery of fairies made of chimerical statues of stalagmites decorations. The stalagmites and stalactites display most of the designs in the darkness, giving a personal connection to whatever eyes have been honored to see. Due to many tourist visits, additional restructures had to be done in the well-named Marvel site in 1997. The excursion routes were reconstructed both above and underground. There was an electric remote control system for lighting the underground site. The ground hall, Perestroika, was also completed. The Perestroika is said to be the most mysterious but popular part of the cave. From its entrance, it is pitch black and through forward body movements, slowly illuminates with light filling up the room. Research reports show these beautiful stones were said to have been formed due to heavy rainfalls over the centuries. Also, the flow of mountain rivers results from the Earth's crust shaking due to karstic cavities in the mountains. Still in Crimea, tunnels were discovered around the Ipetrinsky Plateau that connects Crimea to the Caucasus. It was said to have formed from nature's hands, which could have been caused by the failure of the dome or the entrance to the tunnels being overwashed by water. At the entrance, 
There is a spiral row of stairs that leads inside the cave. A mine at the bottom runs through about a 100 meter length in the cave, expanding towards the cave halls, dripstone formations, and stalactites. Because of the mining area, this area is reserved and accessible only to experts and a temptation to speleologists. Another reason the area is protected is the rumors of reported UFO sightings in the Caucasus region. It was also reported that among the found tunnels under the Uvarov Ridge, one leads directly to the Crimean Peninsula and through cities such as Yisk, Krasnodar, and Rostov-on-Don. Another tunnel was discovered in the northeast of the Volgograd region of Russia, known as the Medvedskaya Ridge. The 200 to 300 and 80 meters tall site has been the subject of many UFO assumptions over the years and has been under the scrutiny of researchers and scientists for supposed extraterrestrial activities by the not yet discovered species. Although the claim does not have a solid foundation, there have been numerous concerning reports. Flying spaceships like objects, ball lighting, and the discovered unexplained tunnels have caused more fear than interest. Several kinds of research have been conducted since 1985, and about 35 expeditions have been carried out. Despite the obvious hard work put into place, the research is snail-paced. The tunnels underground the Medvedskaya Ridge have a diameter of about 22 to 35 meters, and at the highest elevation of the cavities, the diameter reaches about 120 meters. The source of the tunnels is unknown because their origins, as of now, need to be explained by scientists. However, it is stated that the origin is likely to be traced to something other than natural sources. This is because of the smooth walls, accurate construction, and its more complex construction method. The tunnels are divided into what will look like a river's tributaries, and some have several branches. They are parallel and stretch either in straight lines or right angles to one another. The longest of the tunnels has a length of about 4.5 kilometers. From an ancient myth, robbers and horse thieves used the tunnels to hide and ambush to attack unsuspecting victims. The walks of the tunnels are made of stones without streams and can be burnt through if there is a heavy fire attack like in the 1942 war. However, the walls of the tunnels cannot be cut through by equipment. In 1956, the Russian government proposed the construction of a tunnel under the Tatar Strait. Tatarsky Prolev, also called the Gulf of Tartary, was a passage from the Northwest Pacific Ocean from the Sea of Japan south to the Sea of Okhotsk between Sakhalin Island. The strait is about 4.5 to 213 miles wide, 700 feet deep, and 393 miles long. The Tatar Strait's major purpose was to be used as a passage for cargo transportation and military purposes. After the approval of the construction, the tunnel was planned to be a railroad construction. The 200 kilometers railroad construction was put into motion using prisoners' labor. The construction was not so much because the secret tunnel in Komsomolsk na Amyo had already been constructed, and the Tatar Strait had similar technicalities and sizes were just about the same. There was also the availability of specialist provided tools ready to advance building. However, the construction was suspended due to Joseph Stalin's death. When research results regarding the hidden tunnels were reported, the Metrojeprotrums had designed the deep tunnel and the Metrojeprotrums, on the other hand, had designed a shallow one. Recently, the deep and shallow routes will most likely be connected to three routes. In 1963, an identity-protected man in Turkey aided the discovery that would unfold many unsolved mysteries. He knocked down a walk in his basement and opened an entrance to an undiscovered underground city. After breaking down the wall, the next object he sighted was unusual because what he saw next was a tunnel and then several more tunnels. The authorities were contacted and investigations began instantly. The found tunnel would later lead to Derinkyu, a lost and abandoned ancient city. The city abandoned for centuries was suddenly brought to light by a man making simple changes to his home. Derinkyu formed as a byproduct of ancient volcanic eruptions millions of years ago. Tough, ashes, and collapsed remains formed the structure of Derinkyu's stable rocks that were carved 
when the Cappadocia peoples discovered their underground homes. Derinkiu can be traced back to the 8th to 7th centuries BCE. Phrygian Christianity spread, leading to the building of chapels and houses underground. Also, from a research release, during the Byzantine period, Derinkiu was used as a refugee camp for Muslim Arabs. Another ongoing theory states that in the 15th century BC, the tunnels were used to actively pursue enemies. The Cave of Swallows, discovered in Mexico, is also known as Sotano de las Colondrinas to the locals. It is a famous open air out in Aquisman, San Luis Potosi, Mexico. It has a slope of about 49 to 62 meters in width, a height of 333 to 300 and 76 meters, a depth of about 548.64 meters, and a perimeter of 303 by 135 meters. It is famous for being among the world's deepest and largest sheet drops. Though it is highly dangerous because of its hazardous free fall, there have been no restrictions in viewing the cave's entrance. However, descending the routes of the cave is another issue. Access is only granted to expected experts in the field. It is said to have formed from Vados enlargement and a long vertical fracture. Inside the cave is not so pleasing to the eyes or even good for the body. Most of its surrounding is a waiting hazard or a step away from an active virus. As expected, the temperature in the cave is low due to being a dwelling place of several organisms and scattered remains, and it has a little bit of active vegetation. The cave's floor is filled with debris sources, supposedly from the earlier erosion, flooding, and rock collapse and shift that have affected the cave. There is also guano as evidence of the presence of birds and bats. The guano illness, histoplasmosis, is very deadly to humans. The floor and walls also have parasites living in them, as well as scorpions, snakes, millipedes, and insects. This is why it is not accessible for tourists exploring without guides. The cave is an existing hazard. Despite these, the Satano de las Calandrinas also has very amazing features. It is home to many indigenous plants in Mexico, such as avocado, oak, fig, panish, and palo rojo. It is considered the most beautiful underground abyss, dangerous yet alluring. The Cave of Swallows is nothing short of nature's prodigy. Several existing mysteries are underground, both in old lands and water bodies. Several discoveries are made time after time, and most research has linked humans to their past and ancient civilization is a little less difficult to understand. At one point, civilization revolved around underground structures and routes, despite their different uses. When some of the mysteries are unfolded, the idea of existing extraterrestrial activities taking place is not so far-fetched. Although underground cities and buildings are not fully understood by modern scientists, this century is closer to the answers than any formerly existing centuries. Identifying various artifacts needs careful study and more comprehensive knowledge to make correct assumptions with proof to back them up. Do these discoveries have a part in human evolution? Absolutely yes, so much is gained when a guideline is followed. With assurance, it could be stated boldly that many discoveries are still to come. It is important to mention that the research method common to underground sites and tunnels is the excavation method. There are other methods to go about it, but in the end, it all boils down to the level of technology and the site in question. These discoveries are a popular part of the 21st century. Several monitoring and investigations on the slightest of items have been considered, and the results are extraordinary. These discoveries are wild and terrifying. What do you think of these discoveries? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, share, subscribe, and click on the notification button for updates on new videos.